Hi, Bruce. Hi. So, thank you for joining us, Bruce. We're so glad to have you as a guest of Shaken Not Stirred. What? What's your what's your what's your move been? It's been all wine. Yeah, that's me too. Welcome to another episode of Shaken Not Stirred. I'm Christy Maselman. I'm the executive director of Cultural DC, and with me today is artist JD Deerdor. What's up? Hey, what's going on? Uh, not much. I just like I'm actually was working today, um, so just got done working, and I'm like trying to relax. Have you been really good about like setting? I mean, I know you told me you had some projects going on. So, have you been like good about work, t- like setting a work day? Well, I don't know. I mean, this is like it's weird because it, th- my normal life is kind of like this anyways, uh, which like sounds fucked up a little bit or messed up a little bit. Are we allowed to? Uh, use the... Sure. All right. Yeah, Kayla will do that. Yeah, she can, she can bleep that out. My normal uh, like life when I'm not like actually physically painting a mural is a lot of like work from home stuff. So basically um, you're saying you live a quarantine life and anyways? Yeah, and I'm like a super introvert. Yeah. Um, but like the Even main when you're difference, painting a mural, you're like out there in the middle of the night by yourself. Yeah. Ish. Yeah. And my assistant is like also a crazy introvert too. Um, yeah. I know. But, but like the main difference is that like my girlfriend is like five feet away all day, uh, like observing. So I feel like I actually have to like pretend to be doing stuff more. I want people to think I'm cool though. And not like a super nerd, but so here's what I'll say. Reading comic books, um, there's like, there are, so a cool recommendation if people actually want to like read something Mm -hmm. to like, they're they're like bored, like a recommendation. Right. Um, There's this kind of book called Black Science that's like lost in space, time travel y family adventure that I'm into that I like read regularly. Um, and then there's a book called Saga that's like, uh, this is so nerdy, Chrissy. I, we might have to edit this out. It's like a, it's like a fairy has sex with, uh, the fairies and the like goat people are like warring and it's like a Romeo and Juliet between a fairy and a goat man. Sure. And their child is like the chosen one. This is literally the most nerdy thing I've ever said. <laughs> nerdy is the word I would have used, but okay. Yeah, just weird. Like, so those are like good reading things, but um, but yeah, like I just look at for like my art purposes, which I think is like the more whatever pertinent thing is. It's really just like I the bad comic books are almost better, um, and I'll just like go to. Well, I used to go to the comic book store, and they just have bins, yeah, like old ones, and it's like finding. It's not like particular artists or anything, but it's like. It's almost like the artists who are, um, you know, worse at like rendering and stuff like that to me can be more interesting, especially like the way they'll do like, uh, like a background, you know, it's like super quick. So are you finding inspiration in that or are you using it like kind of as direct source material? Both. 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 Because it's like the... And well, so that's one part of it is this sort of like workmen, because they're drawing like 50 pages a month. So it's like there's a certain just yeah. workmanship and like a, um, like a, I don't know what to call it. Like they all look, the, like a tree looks the same every sure. time they draw. There's like a sort of a, there's a, a house style. But then the other thing that's good about those is like the, they're just sort of like, printed badly so there's like misregistration or like the colors aren't right the color the the halftone dots are super big is the dialogue good in those like i i wonder like no i don't read they... i don't i don't like read them i'll like buy like like a like a huge sack that are like 25 cents each and yeah. it's like yeah, and i just wonder cool. though it's like what they lack in attention to detail is made up in like great creativity in other ways Story. Not the old, the old, the old ones. It's like for like twelve year old. It's like a, it's like a soap opera for a twelve. I mean, some of them are super good. 
That's yeah. another thing I've been reading. If a recommendation. So you're into like twelve year old soap operas? It's like I, I certainly I was at one point for sure. Like the Babysitters Club in the comic book form. Yeah, well, I was really into the X Men and the when I was a kid, the X Men was like my my jam. Um, and that actually I have been revisiting during the quarantine. Also, is old uncanny x-men do you collect them like as a collector do you collect them or do you just read them and like christy i have a closet with like fifteen thousand comic books in it but are they like in plastic sleeves are they oh. cataloged do you uh, are they are they numerically ordered and alphabetically by yeah oh yeah oh okay yeah olga albizu you ever heard of her mm -mm. It's like a friend of my dad's, but she's like a pretty legit artist. She's like a Puerto Rican abstract expressionist. Huh. Yeah. And I have like five of them that my, when my dad passed away, I got all the artwork. You got all the art. I got all the good art. I have three sisters. They like are, it's a point of contention. That you got the art and they didn't? I didn't get all the art, but he, he left me some stuff that I think they realized was better than the other stuff, because he knew who the so you had was. a better appreciation for it? Yeah. But so I've had this since I was like 25. Is she still alive? She's definitely dead, yeah. She's definitely dead, okay. Yeah. She was like a contemporary of like Jackson Pollock. Got it. In Puerto Rico. Okay. Well, I'm not I sure it looks as good on Zoom, but it, they're good. It looks great. Yeah. No, it looks good. They're all kind of like I like that you have real art on your walls. Oh, yeah. I got some good stuff. Right. All right. So let me tell you, like, who I've been looking at. I have a stack of books here. So I'm looking at a book called Hockney's Pictures. Okay. I'm looking at a Sam Francis book. And then a Dutch Posters, 1960 to 1996. Weird screen prints. Okay. And then Winslow Homer. So those are completely random. There's like a part of them where it's like, uh, it's like a life affirming or it's like, can be like a neighborhood affirming thing. Like even, it doesn't have to be like the content of the mural, but like I live in Adams Morgan. It's like, there's that Madams Morgan mural. Everybody's sort of like, yeah, like that's my neighborhood. Right. And like, that's a thing that murals do have, but right. like it's outside of that like wow cool factor that is like, a sort of unique advantage of it. It's like an identifier kind of. Yeah. And, and like a and like a uni like a unifier. Right. I'll see you next Thursday. All right. <laughs> right on. What happens next Thursday? I thought we were just doing this every week. Oh it's every Tuesday. <laughs> oh yeah, we can. We can. Do you want to do it again next Thursday? Let's do it. I got nothing going on. I know. That's what like even Devin Chibuyama was like, hey we can do this again, right? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. It'll be like quarantine week 75. I know. We're back at JD's apartment. I'm just gonna have a huge beard. Yeah. Right? And my roots are gonna look really bad. I'm like, yeah. Wait, so yeah, I'm worried about my hair. Have you watched Tiger King? Yeah, hot take? Didn't love it. <laughs> <laughs>